Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be on this makeup look. I wanted to do a monochromatic makeup look that just said spring and oranges. I was really wanting to play it with just orange tones all over, so the eyeshadow, the lips, just like the blush area and just keep it all very orange. So that's what I did today. I think it's really good for spring. I think it's really fun, bright colors. I also used a lot of new products that I've never used before but that I've been hearing a lot about through social media, like people raving about new highlighters and new foundation. So I'm using those for the first time in this tutorial as well. So if you're interested, then keep watching. I'm going to apply a primer and I've been using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. You know, it's one of those things where you can't really realize too much if it's working yet but my makeup has been staying on I've also been wearing a lot of makeup so I don't know man I'll try to keep you guys posted but I love how it feels so I wear it oh, yes, girl. so continuing with the skin prep I'm gonna apply a plumping balm and it's by peak it's one of those balms that is supposed to plump your lips let me know if you see them getting bigger all right, so I'm trying out a new foundation. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. I just picked this up at Sephora yesterday. A lot of people have been talking about this. It's really full coverage. It's supposed to be a foundation plus concealer in one, so that means it's really heavy coverage. I had a hard time picking out my foundation shade. It was either too dark or too pink or too light. This is the best option. We'll see how it looks on camera. It's the shade number eight, Golden Neutral. Has a little doe foot applicator. All right, so I'm just gonna use the applicator. I think this is like for convenience. However, I'm not really a fan of it because I feel like once you touch your face, it like is gonna spread bacteria back into the bottle when you dip it back in. I'm really hoping this looks good because there's no turning back after I apply it. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender, start working it into the skin. Yeah, that's definitely very full coverage. I wish it was like a pinch darker, but it's not terrible once I add bronzer and stuff. It was weird because the color selection for this foundation, it's like they have a lot of colors, but I needed something slightly darker. Everything, the step above darker was really, really pink. And then the step above that was like super, super dark. I felt like this was the only shade that matched the undertone of my skin. They do have like a lot of colors though. The foundation looks really good on camera. What is the finish on this foundation, does it say? It's for dry combination to combination oily mix. That's every skin type. Let's just say it's matte, satin, and dewy because cover all the bases. All right, I got a new uh, ginger concealer, so I was running out, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my go-to. Oh, fresh tube is so beautiful. Steven says that I apply a lot of concealer. That's why I run out so much. How dare. He doesn't understand that I'm highlighting. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my beauty blender. I'm so excited. I'm getting my extensions put in. See how short it looks right now? It looked like longer because I had little individual extensions right here. Because this part of my hair, with like a lot of people's hair, isn't that thick or full on the sides. It's still gonna be short. It's just gonna look a lot more fluffy. Like a lot of celebrities, who have short hair have extensions in you just don't know because they're short but it just adds so much body and i'm excited because priscilla is doing my extensions and she is like a huge celebrity hairstylist who does everyone's extensions pretty much all right so next we're just going to go ahead and set the concealer right away so i don't crease too much using the same thing I always use, my Laura Mercier setting powder with my Dose of Colors setting powder brush. I'm just lightly setting them. I don't wanna to look too cakey or matte. I wanna look fresh. Next, I'm gonna be glowing up my skin using the Bobbi Brown foundation stick. This is in the shade Almond. So I'm gonna use this as my contour and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with my Marc Jacobs The Shape brush. And I'm keeping this focused on this outer part of the cheekbone. I like using this as a contour cream when I want a more sun-kissed look because it's a little bit warm 
but it also blends really nicely. I've been using this since I first started doing makeup, really. Or I remember I used this a lot when I first started um, my Instagram account. See, it just looks really nice, pretty, fresh. It's not too crazy, it's not too much. I'm also gonna do that same thing on the perimeter of my hairline. This is just gonna balance out the sun-kissed look. Really push it into the hairline as well. Whatever's left over on my brush, I'm just gonna pat on the jawline. So this is like nice and bronze now, not bronzed. So I'm just gonna lightly, lightly set the cream bronzer with a little bit of these colors from the e.l.f. bronzer palette. Just a very light application. Just like enough to set the powder, but not make it super matte or powdery. For blush, I'm gonna be using Becca Cosmetics and this is the Luminous Blush in Tiger Lily. Next, I'm gonna apply a liquid illuminator. This is the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops in Morning Light. It's gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand just so I don't grab too much. And I'm just gonna apply, ooh, see that was a little much, but it's okay, we can blend it. Lightly pat that in the C formation here. I almost forgot to contour my nose, so I'm slightly contouring it using my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC45. And I'm gonna be using the SL Miss Glam Contour Brush. I'm just lightly applying this along the side of my nose. Before I apply my powder highlight, I'm going to first set my face with the MAC Fix Plus that's now currently spitting on me like a camel. I'm just gonna use the Urban Decay Setting Spray because I'm almost out. And right before the setting spray sets, I'm gonna apply the highlight. It's just gonna give it a more intense, luminous highlight. And it's the first time I'll be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, which I've also been seeing everywhere. This is the shade Precious Petals. Applying that using my Laura Mercier highlighting brush. Ooh, that's really pretty. Yes, Wet n Wild. I'm just gonna go in that same C formation here. Okay, I'm also gonna be applying that the tip of the nose and the cupid's bow. So next I'm just gonna move on to the eyes. I'm gonna be priming them first using my MAC Prep and Prime and this is the 24 hour extend eye base. And I'm just using my finger to distribute the product all over the lid and the crease. So next we're gonna go into the shadow. I'm gonna be picking up Paradox from the Alice Through the Looking Glass by Urban Decay. And this color is just like a fresh peach shade and I'll be applying that using my Inspire 282 Eye Fluff Brush. It's really good for the outer corners. So I'm picking this up and I'm gonna pack the product on the outside of the eye. And then I'm gonna take a blending brush and soften the edges and blend it out a little bit. That peach shade wasn't showing up as intense as I wanted it to, so I'm gonna pick up this NYX palette instead, the Ultimate Shadow Palette in Brights. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up these two shades right here and start applying those to the outer parts of my crease. Yes, this is a little bit more of what I was going for. I'm just gonna pick it up with a fluffier brush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just take this orange color right here and apply that on the lower lash line. I think I'm just gonna apply it on the outer part. We'll see how I feel about it. But this is the Dose of Colors Flat Definer Brush. It's good to pack eyeshadows like this on, these bright colors, with a denser brush and then blend it out afterwards. As I go closer to the inner part of the eye, I'm just slightly using less pressure, less product, and making it a little thinner. Then you could just use a blending brush and soften that up a bit. For the lid, I'm just gonna apply Satin by ABH. So I'm just taking that satin color and lightly applying it to the lid and buffing it out. If you have your blending brush that you used for the outer corners, just take that and softly buff those edges together. To highlight the inner corners of my eyes, I'm gonna be using this Pacifica Trio. This shade right here, which is called Skinny Dip, I like Pacifica because it's a all natural brand. This inner corner highlight really glows. Right, now we're gonna go ahead and curl our lashes. I just got this um, new lash curler. Honestly, I don't know how to say the brand. Sue, I can't really see what it says. Sumat? Sumat. Sumat. It's really hard to read. They recommend it to me at Sephora and it's honestly the best lash curler I've ever used ever and you know I don't have the most long lashes so I can only imagine what this does for somebody who has 
really long eyelashes because it gets them to sit up really well. So I decided to do a wing real quick. I'm gonna mix these two liners. These are both by ColourPop. This one is bright orange, it's called Puppy, and this one is called Sweet Tooth. It's a little bit more bronzy. I don't want it to be too bronze or too orange, so I'm just gonna mix the two of them together. Just see what happens. So I'm just keeping it really close to the lower lash line. And I don't actually think I'm gonna wing it out. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. That way it adds some some definition to the lash line. I think if I wing it out, it's gonna just blend into the shadow, so. Now I'm gonna apply some mascara. This is the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. And this is supposed to be a flake-proof, smudge-proof mascara. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some false lashes. These are the Queen Bee Cocoa Lashes. Now we're gonna move on to lips. I'm gonna do a really bright orangey red lip. I'm just gonna line it with this color. It's uh, MAC Ruby Woo. It's not super orangey, but I'm gonna cover it anyways. So it's more of just to give me a guide. For lipstick, I'll be using Electro, and this is by Mellow Beauty. It's just a matte, bright, bright orangey red. I actually got this lip color in my Ipsy Glam bag this month, and I was excited to try it because I saw Shanxo post a picture of these lipsticks. So that's it, we're done with the makeup tutorial. I think it came out really fresh, really springy, all that good stuff, all in the same color family. Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments down below. And of course, if you did like watching this tutorial, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. My eyelashes are sticking together. I look crazy right now. Hold, please. Sick. Mm -hmm. Continuing. Mm. What is this? I'm done.